And welcome back, you fabulous third graders, you math wizards of Virtual Room 502. Hope you got your problems set up. We are on, excuse me, we're on page, um, oh boy, Mr. Leggett, put those glasses on. They don't work too well, that's why I'm going to go back to the doctor. Page 81. And today's date, of course, is 10, 29, 20, 20. That's not a vampire voice, that's my ex-brother-in-law's voice. Okay, so round to the nearest 10, use the number line to model your thinking. All right, so we have 32. Folks, look at this. Just look at this. What's it closer to? Is it closer to 30 or 40? We know it's below the midway point, so we what do we do? We round down. Now, that was a Dracula voice. So we round down to 30. See how it works? Let's go over here. 36. Okay, think about 36. Think about the two tens it's between. It's sandwiched between. So sandwiched between the sandwich, 30 and 40. Okay, now where's 36 going to wind up? Well, use your noggin. Here we go. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. It's above the midway point. Ding, ding, ding. And that means we are going to round up to 40. Let's head on down here. We have 62. So what are the two midway points? Well, one is given to us. I mean, the two tens, 60. Just look at the 10. Place value, 60. Huh? Get it? Add 10 more, we get 70. What's the midway point? Remember, Mr. Leggett says, uh, the five keeps us alive. No, I've never said that before. That doesn't even make sense. But when you're rounding, think about five. Because between 60 and 70, the midway point is 65. And our number is 62. Is 2 less than 5? Yes, it is. So 62 is going to head right down there. And what do we do? Are we closer to 60 or closer to 70? I can see 60, and we're below the midway point. So we're going to round down to 60. Round down, clown. All right, now we're getting into the three-digit numbers. Look at the 10 space, because we're rounding to the nearest 10. So we have 160. What's 10 more than 160? 170. And what's the midway or halfway point? I know it's got to have a 5 in it. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165. Look at that. So we're at 162, just like over here, except we have 100s. So I'm going to go right here with 162, right? 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 168, 170. So what am I closer to? I'm going to, of course, round down to 160. All right, here we go. 278. Well, look at our 10 spot. 70. But we have that 100. So I'm going to put a 100 there and a 100 there. It's 200, right? 10 spot is 70. What's 10 more than 270? <laughs> By golly, I hope you said 280. What's our halfway point? I know it has to have a 5 in it. What makes sense? 271, 272, 274, 275, 275. So that's our midway point. But where does this land in the world of the midway or halfway point? It's 278. Is 278 greater than 275? Huh, let's visit any alligator and find out. 278, 275. What number's greater? Hmm, any alligator always eats the greater number, so she's going to eat 278. So that means 278 would be up here. And what do we do? What do we do? What would you do with it? So we round up to 280. Makes sense, I hope. Okay, the people at Eureka Math are always trying to trick you with some hard problems towards the very end. And you know that hard problems are um, difficult. They're more difficult than the other problems. And it requires a serious growth mindset to be committed to solve the harder problems. And a growth mindset is you just can't do it yet. Oh, no. Here comes the calculating cat. The calculating click cat doesn't have a growth mindset. Get away. The calculating click cat gives up. He just says, I'm done. We don't say that. So look at 405. There's our 10 spot right there. Zero. So we're going to put 400 here and 410 up there, right? 400 below 410. What's the midway point? The midway point between zero and 10 is five, so it's going to be 405. What's our number? Our number is the midway point. 
what do we do when we're at the midway point? Do we round down or we round up? Remember, if you're at the midway point or above, I hope that shows up. Yeah, it does. Midway point or above, you round up to 410. And there you have it. Let's head on the back here and have some fun with these pictures. It says, round the weight of each item to the nearest 10 grams. Draw number lines to model your thinking. So we have 16 grams. Let's draw the number line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, we're going to 16, so we're going to have 10 and 20. We've done this. The midway point is 15. Is, 15 is 16 greater than 15? You bet it is. So we're going to round up to 20 grams. That was Dracula again. So we have 52 grams here. So what are my two tens? Well, I know one is 50. What's 10 more than 50? Is 60. What's the midway point? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So what am I going to do if I have 52 grams? It's down here. I'm going to round down to 50 grams. See how it all works? You're getting it, I hope. Here we have 142 grams. So I'm going to do 140. 10 more is 150. Halfway is 145, right? There's that 5 shown up again. We have 142 grams. 142 is down here. So we're going to round down to 140 grams. Okay, what I'd like you to do is pause the recording, read this, and then come back and see if you got it right. So pause. And welcome back. Carl's basketball game begins at 1.03 p.m. and ends at 3.51 p.m. Okay, how many minutes did Carl's basketball game last? What we're going to do is we're going to make this fantastic horizontal number line. And we're going to start at well, – I can't read too well because i got to zoom in a little bit – at 3.03 p.m. And it ends at 3.51. It's a long basketball game. So we're going to do fives, right? 3.05. 310, 315, 320, 325. Mr. Lee is rushing because he doesn't want the screen castify to run out on him. They only give me like 30 minutes. 330, 350. No, I'm not ready to 350. 350. So what we have to do is we have to figure out 303 to 305. There's 304. There's 305. How many minutes? One. Oh, excuse me. 303, 304, 305. How many minutes? One, two. So I'm going to two right there. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 over here. Boom. Doom. Doom. 45 minutes and how many minutes from 350 to 351 just one minute so we got to add them up 45 plus 2 is 47 48 minutes that's how long the basketball game last right there i know it was kind of a mess but i was kind of in a rush to get this done before the screencast said you're done all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls dogs and caballeros you fabulous third graders math wizards of Virtual Room 502. What I need you to do is log on to Zern until recess, which is at 1030. We're going to 